Whenever you're sharing your website links on social media, you always want to include a social sharing image. Now this is often dismissed or not considered when putting together your website, but it's actually a great promotional tool. It acts as a brand identifier, it helps catch your user's attention in a busy newsfeed, and when you don't include it, your links tend to look a little bit spammy. Not very enticing when it comes to clicking through to your website. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your social sharing image and I'm going to show you some best tips and techniques that you can use to make the most out of it so it looks good on every social media platform. To update your site social sharing image go to design, social sharing, click this big plus icon, hit upload file, choose your file and wait for it to upload then hit done and save. Easy peasy. Now this is the image that's going to display whenever you share a page link out on social media. However, it does not apply to collection items such as blog posts, store items. They're going to display differently. So let me show you how that all works. Firstly, if you want to add an alternative social sharing image to any different page on your website, say you want a different one for about, you would come out here, come back into home, go to pages, scroll over your about page, click this gear icon, that's gonna bring up your page settings, click social image, and here you can upload an alternative image. Now how this works with collection items is it pulls from the featured image. So if we go to say blog here and we click this three dots to bring up our blog post settings, it's pulling from this featured image. Now the same is true for products. So if we go into my website here, you'll see I've got my Cairo template and I've got multiple images added, but where it's pulling the featured image from is here. So I want to set this image to be the one that's shared out on social media. And if we go to Twitter just now, I've just posted the link to show you that it displays here. Now there's another thing I want to draw your attention to and that's the sizing of this image. What size should we be uploading? Well, this is a square, it looks fine on Twitter, but if we go to Facebook here and I've just shared another link, you'll see that this is a different size and if I post in the comments, it's back to being a square. So ideally, we want to make our social sharing image an appropriate size for all platforms. So how do we do that? Well, I've created a template for you here that you can use. And you'll see here, I've got it sort of laid out. It is a square, so it's going to look good when you share it out on any platform. But we want to keep our important elements here. So if you want to display your logo or your brand mark or any devices, anything like that, you want to keep it in this section here. That way, when you're sharing it out to platforms like Facebook, nothing important is getting cut off. So I've got a link to this in the comments below and you'll see here I've got this is the one that we used and you'll see everything important is in this area and to check I'm just going to copy this and paste it on top. Okay, that's good and I'll do the same with the top one. I'll just click on my image, Command and V to paste it and I can see, okay, everything looks good. Once I've done that, I'm just going to hit bin on that and I'm going to hit bin on that again because we don't want that. It's just to keep us right when we're creating social sharing images. So like I said, link to the, that in the description and I've also included this little framework here. So if you want to use this as your social sharing um, image, you can do that. You can just click here to change out the color to your brand colors. Um, I use Go Full Page. It's a full page screen capture. So you capture the full page of your website and then you can just drag it in. I'm just gonna drag this image just now to show you, but you would just drag in the full page of your website into here and that way you can showcase your website like this if you want to. Now, if you update your social sharing image, then it doesn't always update automatically on social media platforms. It does take a little bit of time. On Facebook specifically, you can paste the URL in here and debug it. That's going to update the image quickly. Twitter do have an option called uh, that allow you to update Twitter cards, but you can't actually see the preview. So I have no idea if it works or not. I'll include a link to it in the description just in case. 
So there, although it's really easy to update your social sharing image, you just go into design and social sharing. There are a couple of elements to be aware of. And if you want to make it nice and easy, go ahead and use this link that I've got in the description below. This will allow you to update your social sharing images with ease. I hope you found this valuable. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. I want to show you some love for kicking it with me to the end. And if you did enjoy this video, there's a really good chance this one's going to be really helpful to you too.